Oh, there's my phone. So we'll run over that, okay? So I'll just go over what I've written again. Everyone has just one arc of horizon. Down on your flat head, that's your arc of horizon. If you if you move away from, like if you're in the southern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere has moved down on your horizon. It's, it's not within your view anymore. It doesn't mean the earth has rolled around. You don't live on a ball. It just means you're not, you know, you're, you're, out, you're out of range, basically. We've got plenty of videos on that. Uh, one image, everyone has just one arc of horizon. One image of a select, centralised southern or northern star trail. Rotation, where you can get either Sigma Octantis or Polaris central to the rotation. Um, or thereabouts, you see, you see a centralised rotation, whether you actually see the centre or not, doesn't matter. If you move your camera slightly to the east or west of your direct alignment, north to south, your star trail film will never overlay accurately with your direct north to south film. But if you had a friend filming from a more easterly or westerly position, his film would align with yours if you were at the precise angle. So if you tilt it off alignment, because everything lines up with dead north and south, that's where you'll see a nice southern rotation. It's all regarding the southern hemisphere, right? You'll always get your southern rotation. But if you if you turn your camera this way, you've you basically put a kink from where you are in the alignment. And you've kinked it like this. You might be, like you sort of say you're up here. So from north to there, you put a kink in the line. That view, you're never going to get the centralized, the, the centralized rotation, the central point. Dead north, you'll get a full, a nice circular rotation out in the southern hemisphere. As soon as you move your camera this way, and star trail that, those rolling stars, you cannot overlay it onto here because you're not in a dead straight line from there to there. You've put a kink in it and stretched it out. So if you're trying to prove a point by doing that, that the earth's not a ball, it's tricky, you can't. <coughs> Um, so it's angle because that would be in his arc of horizon so the guy further east or west would be in his arc of horizon so he would he could line it up with your if you tilt your camera precisely to his alignment it would be in his in his arc of alignment so his his star trail would line up with that one of yours his dome of meridian his horizon his dome of meridian there's your dome your meridian dome. Everything is brought back down to your dome, right? Arc of horizon. Uh, this filming is 100% proof Earth is not a ball. Okay, some highlights here. Uh, points. Take many photos. Okay. So what you need to do is take many, with good nighttime photography, take a lot of photos. At the celestial equator, using the Ryan's belt as a reference is best. Photo, 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 photo. See, this is this is where I'm about down the southern hemisphere. This is what I see. That's the northern northern horizon. I'll see the top half of the northern centralized rotation. There's the northern hemisphere centralized. The southern sky rotates around it. There's always a projection from the center. So no matter where you are right here, there's always a projection, an image, if you're looking south. Dead in line from north to south. You can be anywhere, and you're going to see an image. As long as it's night time, of course. It, it will be slightly different to this, guys, because it, it would have rolled back this way. So if it's rolling, say, west, the rotation is going to move, isn't it? So if you're taking a photo here and a photo there, you have to roll this one back to line it up with that one. And you'll see the stars, the same 
those stars there will be the same as these back here, but just roll back around that way. Because they're all the same stars. All in here is a parabolic reflection out to the southern hemisphere. Parabolic, so it's a smaller confined picture here, stretched out here, and parabolic, they're 180 degrees flipped both ways. So you can either, you can take star trails and get these images here, and you can just show them like this, which is off, which is what I've done in a film, uh, one of the little videos. Otherwise you can take a lot of photos, heaps more than this. If you can keep this centralized here, you can then overlay your photographs. And you'll find, because it's, uh, it'll be rolling that way for me, it's turning like this over the night. It does a full, a full 360 rotation all the way around, going back to the start again, the very next night. Only four minutes slightly, slightly out. Okay, so that's what the stars do. They go all the way around here every 24 hours. It rolls around here as this turns, because this is the projector. The northern hemisphere is the projector. It comes out of dead center, dead north in here. So what, what it's basically doing, I haven't got a picture, there it is. It's coming out of here, projecting up to the flat northern hemisphere sky. It's flat up here from the equator to right around the donut. Flat sky right out to the celestial equator. And, and a flat sky up here, horizontal parabolic image, creates this vertical or curved, it looks vertical to us, vertical image out here. 180 degrees opposed, so they'll roll into each other like we see. Two, two roll, rotations. It's the one, two. If they're, if they're the same stars, no matter what they want to say to you and argue, if they if you look properly, you will find alignments. It's a bit tricky. You've got to know what you're looking at. You've got to be at the right, on the wrong, right uh, longitude uh, at the exact same time, but uh, I've done that in another video. I won't go into that right now. Um, so I have lots of photos, right? And then turn the images or rotate them to, to overlap if they're, if they're just photos. Uh, rotation wrong. Use Orion's Belt as a reference, which is good this time of the year. A flat northern hemisphere night sky creates a parabolic side image. We've been over that, okay? <coughs> uh, so turning your camera will effectively kink the north to south alignment rotation. So you're only ever going to get one nice rotation if you look dead south. You'll see, you know, your film will, will catch it, capture something like this. Um, I can't think, didn't do many out south. This is my north north image aiming at the celestial equator. But looking out south, you get the one image there and then the, then the stars just spread out all over you. So these these images here are just come right over my head. And you know they just do this. But that's that's easy. He's doing this. You film, put your set your camera up on a tripod. Leave it in the same place, aim at that way, oh no, uh, if you want to start, start with a centralised one, then you get the note, you know what's going on, then you can take this one, because that, that would have rolled that way, quite a bit, then you can shoot back over this side, and you can see that one rolling. So in theory, you know, you should be able to just, uh, yeah, like I say, yeah, yeah, okay. So you can't you can't line them up, right? You've only got the one central rotation there, otherwise they're a bit warped. But you can get this general, you get this idea. You see this effect. You know, you know, it's rolling around the northern central horizon. 
that's in the southern hemisphere, right? So if you're in the northern hemisphere, it's basically like this. You get, you get the, your northern sky come over here, come over your head, and in the southern, in the distance, you'll get your filming like this. It'll be rolling this way, isn't it? Left to right. It'll be rolling like this. All the way around. And that's what it does. 100% proof that it is flat. You can't deny it. If you do this, no way. I've got about five, if I can remember them all, five, 500% proofs if you look into it. <coughs> is, that, is that as clear, clear to everybody? Orion's belt? See, Orion's belt travels all the way around here. That's it. That's the tropic. That's the, uh, what they call the ecliptic in the ball. But that's the tropical gap. Celestial tropical gap. Orion moves around all year long. All year long. And the sun catches up to it and covers it for three months in daylight where we can't see it before the sun moves out off it, ahead of it, and exposes it again. There's no way they can explain that on a globe. So your Ryan's belt for nine months, losing it for three. Nope, it's another 100% proof that you do not live on a spinning ball. Just done a video on this, it's a tricky one, understanding on this. You as Zenith, you're always the centre of your arc of horizon. Like I've been talking about here, you've all got an arc of horizon. You move, it goes with you. And everything is protected back to you. And this is this is what creates our locations on Earth. Understanding the meridian and all these arc minutes representing nautical miles on the Earth. That curve equaling the two curves of north and south coming together, flipped up, creates an arc over. Check out the last video. Interesting. Uh, complicated though, pretty hard to understand if you're not on the right not in the right frame of mind you've got to un you've got to believe earth is flat to understand and seek the truth if you don't look you don't find a good book tells you that okay it looks pretty cool eh? when you know what's going on and you look up at the night sky man it's just real buzzy every time you look at orion's bout because orion's bout governs a very special time in history it's what all religions are. These are the three wise men. It's what all religions are about. At a certain time when you see this, things happen. It's the Jesus story. Three wise men came from the east and left by another route. They obviously went to the west, didn't they? Went out the west. Um, yeah, there's something... Pretty amazing that no one, I can never prove and no one's ever going to believe it. But this this tropical gap here, I reckon NASA should know. They've got so many flipping billions of dollars worth of cameras and you know um, telescopes and that around the world. That this gap, this gap here, uh, August September 2017, expanded, expanded and contracted. That's a long story. A very long story. It's all to connect with religion. And uh, the human brain. The colostrum. Colostrum, yeah. Little slithery gaps you have in two sides of you, two hemispheres that open at a special time. Won't go there. Um, what else can I say? So get out there, buy yourself some fancy cameras. You know, the P900 does this, shows star trails showing this. But nighttime imaging for, um, you know, the we, that, we the P900 doesn't do um, time lapse, does it? It just does star trails. Something does time lapse and, and good, good camera, good shoots. Take a shot there. Wait even just five minutes and take a another one slightly 
you know, just move them off slightly. Yeah, you get it. And just slowly belay them. It's just freaking mind blowing. It's 100% proof. They're, they're, they're stuffed. The globies are stuffed. It's right there. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. Okay, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, spread the good word, share.